Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Rax Hogan, and today we're gonna be reviewing Tufton Guns. Rug Tufton is one of those things that you can pick up, learn. It's easy to do, a lot of fun. It's very enjoyable, fun for the whole damn family. We're gonna be reviewing the Loop Pile Tufting Gun from Tim Eads over at tuftingguns.com. And then we're gonna be reviewing this shit that I got off of Amazon that shoots loop pile and cut pile. So come on, hang out with me. We're gonna smoke a little bit and learn about tufting rugs. All right, so a lot of these videos, in my opinion, they be bullshitting y'all. They be telling you just enough information to get you interested and then they drop your ass off like an ugly bitch on a date. So I'm not gonna do that, all right? I'm gonna tell you as much information that I got so that you can take that information and build on that to come to your own conclusions that can help you in your journey and learn how to tough or learn how to do anything that I get in front of this damn camera and tell you that I'm interested in and you wanna know about it because what I look like giving you half the information. So check it out. We're gonna start with the green gun. The green gun is a lot of fun, okay? It's got a lot of pros, but it also has cons, all right? So look, first of all, pros about this gun. Again, this gun shoots these kinds of rugs. They shoot fantastic rugs. Pros of it, I can do a lot very quickly with this gun. Um, the cut function allows you to take the gun out, start at any point. It allows you a lot of good free range, a lot of motion with the gun. One of the pros of this though is the free range control that you have here. Sponge actually put me on to this where you can kind of control the tension if you get in a jam with your thread. And you do that by just basically taking this right here, giving it a little push, and then you can get the, the, the scissor to come out you know, as far as you need it to go. And it don't have to be plugged up. Like I'm not plugged up to any power right now and it does have free range. The guns do come oiled, but you do need to have some oil on hand in your shop to keep the mechanics running fine, to keep them running smooth, to make sure that your gun don't, you know, fall apart or you get stuck in the middle of a job and then you like, I'm fucked. But as you can see, it do produce pretty good results. I'm not mad at it at all. It's just the weight, like me and Swans was talking about getting damn slings for these shits, cause this bitch heavy. I ain't gonna lie, this bitch is heavy. If you, uh, oh, light in the hand, motherfucker, you not gonna wanna fuck with this, okay? You not gonna wanna fuck with this. And I'm not saying don't fuck with it, but I'm just saying it's one of them things where like, you wanna just basically be able to get that shit done. You don't want it to feel like work. The whole thing about this is it's supposed to be fun. You don't wanna take the fun out of it cause you fucking lugging this heavy ass gun. So the only thing I will say is the biggest con would be the weight. Second con would be this bar, but I mean, that's something that you can fix. Um, third con would be it's, uh, it's set up to the right, so if you left handed and shoot from left to right, it could be a problem. Um, some of the pros though, speed, control, this shit is a tank. I mean, the weight would suggest. When you get the gun, it does come with um, the attachment to change it to make it a loop pile gun, but that's all it comes with is that beast. All right, now, this gun right here, now off rip, as you can see, this one I think is just a little bit, I won't say that it's better, but I think the ease of use with this one is a little bit better than this one. So let me tell you why. So this is the loop pile tufting gun from tuftingguns.com. Tim Eads down there in Philadelphia, PA. Shout out to Tim Eads. The gun, off rip, way lighter. This feels, I'm gonna just say it like this. This, the green one that we just talked about, feels like five of these. Like, this is so, this is, the fuck up off me, rug. You know, you could just, you know, back up off me. But, I digress. I will say this, over time, it does take a little bit of getting used to, to learn the actual technique with this one. Again, it is a loop pile, so it's a continuous loop. So that means pretty much when you start shooting, you're gonna go across all the way one line and you gotta cut that. And then you gotta punch back in and start again. Now you can run the whole left turn, right turn, left. But it's one of those things that's gonna take a little bit more time to learn that technique than it does with kind of just picking up and shooting like you can with the green one. I'm not saying that it's extremely difficult to use, but in terms of learning the actual technique, you do have to be conscious of your pressure. You do have to be conscious of the tension on your fabrics. There's just a lot of more variables that you gotta worry about with this gun that you really don't have to worry about. This is kind of like this pick up and blast. It's like spray and pray. You know, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. You 
this one, you kind of got to shoot it, you know, make sure that you got. But once you get this one, I will say this, being that it's so light, the control on this, the maneuverability on this, way better. This is a sturdy ass machine right here. You see big block of metal. Same thing here, but I just think they use lighter parts on this one. It's a lot more exposed wiring on this one than it is on this one. But if you ask me, it's really a matter of what you like to shoot. Personally, I like this one because I like to work fast. So if I'm trying to work fast, I wanna get it in, get done what I gotta do, get to the next project. When I'm doing personal projects for like myself, stuff like that, I kinda like this is more therapeutic. I'll say it like that. This is more, you know, so, I mean, the difference in the two is, you would notice it. If you buy this one, it comes in cut pile too. They got a cut pile version of this one, which I highly recommend you get, because I'm probably about to buy one of those in addition to this, um, just for the weight factor alone, because this right here, you're gonna have brolic ass wrists by the time you get done shooting the rug with this. Like, big facts, like you. I wanna weigh this, this thing is heavy. All right, man, this is our uh, first video about Rug Tough and Guns and shit again. We only been doing this shit for like four days, so give us like another few days and we'll be, you know, top shocker out here in these streets. Like, subscribe, do all that shit that they tell you to do in them other videos. Because if you did it for them other videos, you should do it for this video. Till next time, I'm out this bitch. Squad gang gang.